My friend has uh, purchased a new vehicle, well, new to them, a Mazda CX-3 and the one they bought, while it has like uh, USB and Bluetooth and whatnot, they did do an option which had uh, Android Auto and CarPlay and it requires uh, a replacement of this box. So the car currently has this one but it doesn't have a little picture of the phone to plug in there. So this is the bit that gives it the Android Auto and CarPlay. So my job is to take the one that's in her, her car out and replace it with this one. And part of the kit that she bought replaces, well, all, to get it to work you need to replace this bit. And it also gives you two new cables that plug into the display on the dashboard, the screen and whatnot that actually lets you control it on. So I suppose let's go and take as little of her car apart as possible to try and fit this and we'll get it up and running. Let's go. Okay, stage one is to replace this module, well, replace that module with this module. We are in the Mazda CX-3 and the easiest way I've found to do this, take off the trim of the gear stick, well not, there's a black plastic trim, take that off, then you can take this bit of the trim off out the way of the gear stick. That lets you take out this little tray underneath. It's just all clips. These two side panels are just clipped on. You just get a spudger in behind them and clip them out of the way. Two sides come off. Oh, sorry. And then there's a screw here and a screw here. Undo the screws. That lets you pull this whole assembly out and forwards. And then we'll be able to get into the little plastic Trim clips, tabs, there, there and there. We'll squeeze them out, but I don't have enough hands, so I'm going to get a tripod. And we'll pop that out, and that gets us that bit. And then the other bit is the display bit itself, but I looked online, I'm sure it's just putting a spudger under there. Lifting up, and there's two bolts, and then the whole thing just pops out, and then we'll run wires. Right, I'm going to get a tripod. Right, I have no idea how much of this you can see. I have no much of this I can see. This might be a job for a screwdriver. I hope if I can get one side. Right, if I can squeeze. Squeeze one side down. You would think with the one half clicked it would just want to kind of fall out. Alright, let us fight it with the other side. Ah oh, yes! I push that back in there, then there should be enough wire. Yes, that's better. Ah, oh, it's one of those. It's right in the back of the thing. Oh, that's handy. Right. Ta-da! Old module out, which has only got one port, and the new module's got more USBs. Well, for the USB wires. They look the same, but they're not. That got a... That does have a navigation thing in it. Fine. Right. Stage B. Taking the display bit out. Let me make this make sense. Oh, if I push it back in a bit, it'll help. So this one is a lot easier. There is a trim piece. Oh, I've lost the front trim. Trim piece there, sits at the front. That covers up two 10mm bolts. Take them out. And then you just kind of juggle these two plastic clips up and out, kind of in that action. And then there's a big chunky plastic trim that sits on the back in there. That left out. And then, oh, good. And then the whole thing slides out the dashboard. Well, nearly slides out the dashboard. There's almost enough wire to facilitate putting in. Right. And then that leaves us with poking where two cables up through the hole down there, up to the back here, plugging them in. And then we'll plug it in, turn it on, and see if it works before we push it all back together. I've made that mistake before. Okay, a little difficult to see, but... Two wires out the back of the new USB thing. Basically just poked along there, and then I poked them... Well, I took the glove box out, obviously, because it's not there. Poked out through here, and then you can poke them back up inside. Through the big hole up there. That gets you out into the top bit and then two plugs into the back of the big metal bit at the back that 
the ECU looking thing and then just push all that back in and you're left with a, a fairly long length of wire but they give you this foam wait I've used it all, there it is foam sound deadening anti-rattle strips so you'd, I just wrap the wire with that and then I'll just uh, make a little loop of it and cable tie it up in place make sure it's not interfering with any of the blower motor uh, flaps and electronics and I'll just tuck all that in Right, moment of truth time. Let us put the car to position one by pressing the start stop button and not the clutch. That's us. Hey, it lights up. Ta da! Sweet. Right, now we will take a USB wire, plug it into the port. Wrong the first three times. Oh, no, only two times. And then we'll take the other end. And connect it to an iPhone. Oh, boop! iPhone connected. Oh, oh, hey! There we go. We have absolutely got the uh, what do you call it? CarPlay, Apple CarPlay. I was going to say it's the other one, but it's not the other one. Uh, we've got obviously it's the same thing for Android Auto, but but not. Got Spotify, got Google Maps, because let's let's face it, Apple Maps is uh, rubbish. That's us. We've got all of our uh, Apple CarPlay things now on our uh, Mazda Hedge, and that just takes you back to the Mazda bit. So the one caveat with this system is that in order for CarPlay to work on the Android Auto -E bits, your head unit or the what is it the CMU they call it in the Mazda is you need to have in the about section at least it needs to be at least version 70 if you're any less than version 70 none of this will work and you need to update it before you change all of the hardware but you can update it and I'd, oh, I don't need to do a video on updating it there's lots of forum posts and all sorts of other things and where to get the files or take it to Mazda and have them update it for you, but you need to be at least version 70 for the CarPlay stuff to work. But there we are, Apple CarPlay, same thing for Android Auto, plug in, do your Android auto -iness. But there we are, doing all the things via our newly installed, whatever that USB thing is actually called. Does that have a name? I mean, it's the USB cable set. Genuine USB cable set. I presume that's just the cable set. It did have a part number. USB CBL. Suitable for Mazda. Okay, well, that was it. Any questions, comments, etc., so on and so forth, uh, leave them down below. I will try my best to answer them. And as always, thanks for watching.